It's time for a fucking important announcement. The next incident's montage will be coming out on the 9th of June. Welcome to a video on how to get good at boss mode. The most fucking boring experience known to man. That requires so little effort to play. That you can literally be doing something else like drawing, masturbating, or hell. Even playing another fucking game for that matter. Let's get started. This boring piece of shit is where you take to the skies and fly high above the battlefield doing fuck all. Because in the original video, we took Crazy Dave's side. This time, we will take the side of Dr. Zomboss, whose pulsating head looks like that of a raging erection. The flying piece of shit that you ride in has a grand total of 2000 health, so it can take quite the beating. Unless the entire enemy team decides that they hate your fucking existence and want you to actually play the damn game. Throughout the experience that is selling your soul to the most boring fucking time waster known to man. Brains will fall from the sky, as well as spawn from whenever you numb nut teammates actually kill someone. You will be using these brains to deploy one of four devices at your disposal. Three of them you can use regularly throughout the game, and one of them you have to wait an entire century to use. These four devices consist of the following. A spotting device that basically fucks over anyone who is trying to be sneaky in any capacity, and guarantees a spotting icon at their location. This device is not only the cheapest, but has the shortest cooldown at only 20 seconds, with a price of 75. This is best used deployed around corners, or in areas where they won't instantly spot the device, and destroy it, because it reveals the Agent P main's hidden stash of solar flare feet pit, a modified zombie heal station, that heals at a slightly faster rate than the standard heal station, and like the normal heal station, can be destroyed if left out in the open. It is best advised to place this further back and in spots behind cover as so that your teammates can easily use the source of healing provided they actually fucking see it the zomboss heal station has a 40 second recharge and a price of 100 air strike which covers so much fucking ground that it's actually surprisingly difficult to score kill with this shit unless the enemy team are proud representatives of grade preschool this shit needs to be used rather carefully and with strategic planning since it has a 45 second recharge and a hefty price of 250 and then there's the revival station the most useless fucking thing known to man even though on paper the thought of being able to revive several zombies at once sounds appealing as shit well if you cock up or if it gets destroyed then you might as well not even fucking bother not because it would be a waste of 250 brains but mainly because this shit has a recharge time of three entire fucking minutes so you can consider yourself lucky if you get to use this shit more than twice in a single game of Team Vanquish. So, now that you know how to do this point and click adventure game, you can do fuck all and contribute fuck all to your team. But, that 2000 health pool does not last forever, as if you are killed, you will be forced out of boss mode for roughly 30 seconds, which you can use to contemplate your life choices and why you choose to play such a fucking boring form. Thanks to this guide, you will now know how to be a lazy piece of shit and know H what it truly feels like to have all eyes on you, yet knowing full well that you contribute jack shit. Be sure to come back for the next episode next week. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.